Hello, I'm Ben T. Looney. I really need to read the Bible more often. It's really good for a laugh. Truth be told, I'm very interested in black culture. Yes, I can't get enough of hip-hop music, urban hood movies, and tasteful black comedians. However, I really am offended as a white person due to how black culture is portrayed in the media. After a lazy afternoon flipping through channels, a naive person would think that black people are the same as they're portrayed in Tyler Perry movies, the Wayans Brothers movies, and of course, this. I really feel for you blacks. I know you're more intelligent than these modern day minstrel shows would have people believe. I especially feel your pain when it comes to adult animation. While some adult animated shows are clever and intelligent, others like to treat us like our brains are the size of pinheads. They like to overemphasize sexual humor, stereotypes, and they don't shy away from being as gross as possible or being as mean-spirited and offensive as possible just for the heck of it. I can't trucking stand it. I wish that this would just die because it haunts me even when I'm not thinking about it. It just won't leave me alone. My Lance, I hate that show. What? Did you think I was referring to something else? Thankfully, there's not only a show featuring a black cast that has intelligence to it, but it happens to be an adult animated show that is made by people who can actually count over five. It's none other than a certain adult swim show that I can't believe took me this long to get into, The Boondocks. This is a show created by black cartoonist Aaron McGruber, based on his comic of the same name. It's about two urban black children named Huey and Riley Freeman who live with their grandpa, Robert, and have to deal with the crazy events that happen around their neighborhood. There are so many reasons to love this show, but I don't think I can sum everything up in one video. And the fact that I can say that after only seeing four episodes blows even my mind. No, seriously, my brain was so amazed that its brains blew its brains out. I have no idea how I'm still able to function. Probably because I sold my brain to Dr. Frankenstein. Hey, I wasn't using it. So, for starters, the animation is beautiful. This has got to be some of the best animation I've ever seen. The characters are drawn so realistically, and the show breaks away from the typical cartoony style and takes advantage of using plenty of shadows and detail that not many animated shows have the budget to showcase. Not to mention that character movement is done anime style, which adds great contrast from usual adult animated shows. It's kind of nice to see an animated show that doesn't look like it's copied the style of other animated shows, which is another pet peeve of mine when it comes to adult animation. Another quality about this show is the characters. I haven't had a chance to see them all, but from what I've seen, this show has a great group of characters that I want to see more of. Riley is a parody of the stereotypical thug kid who's always causing trouble. Huey offers contrast as an intelligent voice of reason who's always trying to offer the most reasonable solutions to all the problems that they run into. Robert Freeman is a stereotypical old man who is constantly getting angry at the kids for causing mayhem. And then, there's Uncle Ruckus, a satire of the stereotypical Uncle Tom. He has a supreme hatred for black people, despite the fact that he is black. I don't even have to explain how deliciously hilarious that is. See? This is how what characters in animated shows need to be. Adult shows need some actual intelligent and moral characters to balance out all the imperfect ones. Also, don't just have characters with negative traits that are similar to the flaws of human nature, but exaggerate them to the point where they become clever parodies. My Avery. It's another adult show that knows characters aren't just one joke machines. It's a miracle! And finally, the last thing I should mention is that this show has some of the best satire ever. For example, one episode says that when graffiti is badly put down, the neighborhood is quick to blame Riley for it. However, when it has time and effort put into it and it's considered artwork, the neighborhood doesn't believe that Riley actually did it. Yes, black people can't create art. They can only vandalize property. The show said that, not me. Another episode involves a popular hip-hop singer coming to the neighborhood to look for a lawyer after being accused of robbing a convenience store. However, the only reason he's popular is because he's constantly committing crimes. You are so much like real life. It's hilarious. And scary. So, The Boondocks is a heck of a show that I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of. It's always inviting to see an adult show that actually treats me like I'm an adult. An intelligent adult. An intelligent adult who likes cartoons.
An intelligent adult who likes cartoons and isn't racist. An intelligent adult who likes cartoons, isn't racist, and... I don't know where I was going with this. Waffle. Anyway, the main point is that it is so simple to make a show like this. Hopefully, more animated adult shows will follow the influence of this and take the time to make a show that actually treats adults like we're sane. Or, they could just follow the influence of... Others. I hate you. Anyway, I'm Ben T. Looney. I'm gonna go get my brain back. I just realized that's impossible for me to do the things I'm doing without it.